Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and this is to answer a couple of questions. Uh, well, uh, one question that a couple of viewers actually asked. And, uh, of course, why not also explain a little bit um, what is TCP IP. So, yesterday I posted a video where um, I show you that Microsoft actually is asking everybody to patch their systems with yesterday's uh, patch Tuesday updates because one of the um, flaws that it is actually scared of is the TCP IP vulnerability. So first of all, what is TCP IP? TCP IP is a set of protocols that are used for computers to connect on a network or on the internet. Without TCP IP, your computer would not be able to go ahead and, you know, um, do what it is doing and access websites and so on because it would not know how to connect to each other. It is a set of protocols that is there to explain how we connect and how to transfer information in between computers. And like I said, it's not just internet. It is also uh, through networks. So this is... TCP IP goes back way, way, way back to the start of um, the uh, internet. Um, and it is something that is, uh, you know, updated from time to time with, with all sorts of more modern protocols and so on. But overall, it hasn't changed that much over time. Well, what is uh, happening with this is that because it is the core of connectivity with the computers and the internet, if is if there's a security vulnerability, of course this is not a good idea. So there are several ways this can be exploited. Yesterday, when they talked about it, there's two ways that are kind of complex to do so. These ways would actually enable. Uh, a user to have a computer crash in some way and when that happens they are able to actually have access to the computer and be able to take control and do what they call a elevation of privilege what's that well suppose that you're not the administrator of your computer say you're a simple user there are of course in Windows ways to create users that are don't have you know any rights so you can't install software without the administrator giving you a password, for example. So that technically makes you safer. Now, when this happens, it actually crashes at the core and actually can be used to do elevation of privilege. So a simple user will be changed to an admin. And the administrator, well, can do whatever he wants now. So um, this is uh, always bad because that means that you know, from the internet, some hacker could use a form of, you know, uh, of communication so that it can make that protocol crash and start, um, you know, get control of your computer, for example. Now, one of them is an easy one to exploit, and that one can be used for the uh, denial of service attacks. So denial of service attacks is simply... Uh, that they take control of your PC and your PC can become kind of a zombie PC on a uh, worldwide networks of millions and millions and millions of computers. And when all triggered together, they can attack a domain. They can attack, for example, Google.com and try to bring it down because there's too many requests at the same time. The servers will crash. Um, so this is something that will happen um, it can happen, actually. And this one is easier to exploit. Apparently, that one isn't that difficult. Now, that's why we want your Windows, and that's why we always want software to be up to date. Because once they actually talk about these, they will issue bulletins talking about the flaws and the vulnerabilities. Hackers look at that because they know that there's a certain percentage of people that will not update this is why using Windows 7 is totally unsecure. And this is why even if you'd use an antivirus, it'd be useless because this is an attack directly on the PC using protocols. Your antivirus doesn't do anything against that. So, you know, thinking that an antivirus keeps your system safe is once again 
uh, showing the, um, the fact that you have lack of knowledge of how things work. Um, most security experts will tell you is up, the updates are far more important than anything else. And you have an example here. This fixes flaws. I had a couple of questions. Some people saying, well, you know, how do I get the fix for this? This comes automatically from Windows Update. So make sure that you have applied the Windows Update patches uh, of um, yesterday. And I'll have a separate video to show you how to know if you have the latest updates and so on uh, at the same time. Um, so it's important to, of course, fix these flaws in order for your computer to stay safe on the web. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.